And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some mono white life gain. That's right. I haven't really played a life gain strategy too much, even like last format. Like I think this may be the first time that I'm actually playing Linden, the steadfast queen, even though it came out in Throne of Eldraine. But yeah, now that we have Heliod, uh, Suncrowned and Daxos, you know, that really just kind of gave us some more uh, life gain tools and uh even even with that being said, I still just you know kind of skeptical of how good just a, a life gain strategy like this is. But this specific list that we have here, this 75, did go five and one in the standard challenge at on Magic Online this past weekend, and um, and so that's a you know, like that's a that's a difficult uh, challenge, and so going five and one in that is is a pretty big deal. Um, so yeah, let's try it out. I mean, we do have some some uh, cards like you know like Hushbringer is just really good in this format. I think you know really like Hushbringer, and so it kind of shows you how uh, the deck is playing Hushbringer even with Daxos, where Hushbringer and Daxos you know don't work well together, but still Hushbringer being so powerful, it's in the main deck. Um, I like the you know the Planeswalkers getting us Gideon and a Johnny against uh, Sweeper uh, decks and. And so yeah, we're gonna be playing it in best of one, but this you know this did do that well in best of three. So like here you know the sideboards in here and everything. If you want to play it in best of three, but we're gonna be playing it in best of one. And we've been playing against a ton of mono red today. Maybe this deck can do pretty good against mono red. I don't know. It, we're trying to gain life, so you know that just uh, theoretically sounds like it should be pretty decent against mono red. Let's give it a try though. So here we go. Let's uh, play seven games over in ranked with it. I'm skeptical about the deck, but we'll, we'll see. Okay, you played a Shadow Spear in a similar deck to have it give a huge Pride Mate Trample. Okay. I really like this Ajani Strength of the Pride. Pretty excited about that card. Um, the third copy, though, <laughs> I'm not so not so sure about the third copy. Killing all my stuff. Torbran? I think I just have to, yeah, you know, I have to block that Steamkin because it's doing six damage. Something. <clears throat> well, our four card hand. <laughs> that we started with because these three Ajani's aren't doing anything, isn't isn't helping out.
All right, well, Johnny didn't look so good there when we only had three lands. But still kind of shows the difference of having interaction versus not having interaction. All right, own one. Well, maybe we'll draw lands this time. How many lands are in here? 24? Okay. Respectable. My plan here was to play Linden and then attack, but I'm, I'm just going to play Hushbringer. First, seeing, that, seeing what we're playing against. More pride mates. More pride mates. Oh, they're Esper. Well, I'm just hoping they don't have a sweeper. Stand by your side. Really hoping they don't have a sweeper. All right. <clears throat> they took the wrong card with their thought erasure. One on one. Yeah, that gets real, real fast. <clears throat> yeah, there's not a lot of card draw in white. Like, yeah, Dawn of Hope, but Dawn of Hope's just pretty slow and everything. Kind of just like the, the Planeswalker route. I should attack with the Healer's Hawk first. So now they're going to shock the Hushbringer. Ooh, no shock. Okay. I am here to aid in the assault. Prepare for battle. Prepare for battle. It's going to be tough to beat. I believe. Slow process getting rid of that Royal Scions. Jeez. To know is to triumph.
Hmm. Yeah, that's the thing. I, I could go protection from blue and, and kill the royal scions. I believe in you, friend. I think it's worth it. a good hit. Not feeling great about this. Your light will cleave the darkness. Not feeling too great about this one. Good job, Hushbringer. I will lend you my strength. <clears throat> I mean it's a, it's a I mean we kind of we need a Johnny. A Johnny's the card. We got four of them in the deck. A Johnny will exile all their creatures. That's the card I need. Cuz I can just attack with a couple life linkers. to gain that extra life. Dirty. All right, 
Come on, Johnny. Exos. Bleh. Share in my light. No, I haven't I haven't tried improbable alliance with Nadir Kraken or Kraken. Huh. Why did they just do that on my upkeep and then just kill the Gideon? I guess they want to kill Linden now. They got this one. I think even a Johnny, it's too late now. I've fought worse. <laughs> no, my, my opponent's not going to deck themselves. They're at 33 cards still. So I can keep a Johnny alive by blocking with everything. I'm gonna get two free blocks. I'm not sure what really keeping a Johnny alive for one turn is gonna do for me. Springer has really hurt me a lot. But obviously they can just they can just kill the Ajani's pride mate still. All I can do is make it a 6-6. Six, six. These improbable alliances were incredible.
Thanks, Gar. Thanks again, that resub in. That's number 24. I guess I was behind one. And no removal for Pyromancer. All right, so we are uh, one and two now. Yeah, I guess Heliod would have been really nice to have in that game. Growing like those Hushbringers. With that that ability. Oh great, they just keep all three cards on top. So we're just dead. That's cool. Been a cool knowing you're dead before you're actually even dead. Usually Nightpack Ambusher is a little scared to attack into that. I don't know if I'm supposed to banishing light the Sphinx or the fires, honestly, or maybe just play a Johnny. It's got to be fires, right? I don't know. Like the Sphinx, like they just get to scry all this time. Like we're not we're not ending this game fast at all. All right, see you, Brad. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, midnight. R yeah, uh, midnight rider is probably the go-to removal spell in mono black devotion.
Um. A pure soul can inspire others. Well, this is pretty sweet. This first, this is my first time playing Heliod. Heliod's pretty sweet. <laughs> but yeah, the, putting the counters on Banishing Light doesn't really do anything. Banishing Light's not going to be attacking. It doesn't turn Banishing Light into a creature. <clears throat> they said no to the discard, right? So they like their card in hand. Yeah, Heliod Spike Feeder. That's just Infi Life. If you haven't heard of me, then get ready to meet my flame. Are they just dead? Hey, I've got a burning desire uh -oh. to finish you. I guess if I can't turn Heliod into a creature. But alright. Two and two. Activating Arden Veil would, would not turn Heliod into a creature. It just plays like a 1-1 token. But I guess it would... It would gain a life, which would trigger Heliod to put a counter on the other thing, so we'd have two 6, six power creatures, so that would work also. Yeah, the Daxos-Hushbringer combo isn't spectacular. Expecting a mirrorish match. Oh no. I guess we'll have to banishing light their pride mate, I guess. I guess I could banish the prison realm and get my primate back, but now my primate's smaller, smaller than theirs. Uh oh. That's scary. That's pretty scary. If 
Fighting tooth and claw is what it takes. And so be true friends always stand by your side. Oh yeah, I have LC to my deck. I walk a righteous path. I believe I haven't really liked the banishing lights. There's only the two in here. Kinda wish I had more. But yeah, obviously these these hushbringers. Shut me down. Gives me a chump blocker. Prepare for battle. But yeah, Heliod is. Heliod's too good in the mirror. It's, it's gotta be the best card. Two and three. If I'd, I guess I'd, I could not have cast. I cast my prisoner all I guess at the wrong time. Need to save it for. The thing I did not save it for. Try to use Alcee to like you know be able to play it and hold up mana to be able to pre protect something. I'm not sure what that something is that I want to protect yet though.
the board ship. Forgot to use the mana to pump. That's what they meant to do. That was speaking of unfortunate, that was unfortunate on their part. Yeah, poor opponent. Whoops. Alright. Last match. Break the tie. Hopefully finish with a four and three record. see how we do got a good opener got a good turn one two three maybe we draw a Johnny for turn four I don't like that we're playing against the control deck come on a Johnny a Johnny nope all in. We are all in. Boom. Let's slow this down. I've got time. All right, not all in anymore. Now blue white gets four mana wrath. Yeah, Rakdos Aristocrats did a lot of work for us. Wish we would have drawn a Johnny. Stream trailer. That's the thing about Mono White here is not very good against sweepers. They had, you know, removal, removal, then sweeper, sweeper, dream trawler. GG's. So we went three and four. We lost the mirror. And so went went three and three against other matches, which isn't, you know, if you don't don't count the mirror, because you know that's you know very coin flippy. The other matches we went three and three. Um, that's not bad. Like, that's, uh, you know, better than expected, uh, honestly, with, in, in, uh, you know, Mythic like that. I wasn't really expecting a whole lot, but it, it was pretty powerful, and, and Heliod looked really strong. Harshbringer was awful <laughs> for us. 
so yeah, I guess you know Hushbringer really is a uh, metagame call right now, but um, it really worked for the person this weekend. But yeah, Hushbringer shut us down. <laughs> I needed more. I wanted just more removal. I'd rather just had you know more banish banishing lights, um, and stuff like that. But oh well. Um, Okay, so there we go. That's Mono White Life Gain. So fun fun day today. Best of one. We got to play lots and lots of different decks. Uh, that's that's kind of the thing about best of one. You know, we just play a lot faster league, you know, faster videos here and get to play more of them. Um, yeah, there's probably a lot more Simic in best of three. And that's, that's you know, like this this deck was designed for best of three. And yeah, there's a, probably a lot more, you know, Risen Reef, Thassa, Simic stuff. Um all right, so those of y'all watching on, later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And uh, yeah, let me know what you're doing in best of one and everything like that. But thank you so much for watching some Mono White Life game, and I'll see you for the next video.